Good morning, YouTube world. I'm Chris Prokop, and I'm here with uh, Dr. Arthur Rachminov. Um, the topic of today is sleep positions. Um, hi, Arthur. Yes, hello, Chris. Um, do sleep positions matter? Um, yeah, that's kind of probably the first question many people would be interested in, like if there is any difference between sleep positions. And uh, the question actually has a very strong medical support in the view that if we try to find out the time of the day when people are most likely to have health problems like exacerbations of uh, due to heart attacks, asthma attacks, stroke, seizures due to epilepsy and many other health conditions, there are many studies around 10 that uh, I found long time ago, like many years ago, which compared different times of the day in relation to health problems and even mortality when people are most likely to die due to exacerbations of health problems. And surprisingly, all these studies, like totally unrelated teams of doctors, they came to the same conclusion that uh, people are most likely to experience much, like there is high chances of episodes of exacerbations and mortality due to the same time of the day. And these are early morning hours from 4 to 7 o'clock in the morning, many studies like indicated this exact range of hours. And that happens during sleep because 4 to 7 o'clock is the time when people sleep. So in hospitals, I actually spoke with some doctors, nurses, and they do know that it's practically true that uh, when people are in critical care and reanimation due to like whatever the heart attack, stroke, or even people who are maybe dying from cancer, HIV, like long, long lasting health problems, they also have to have. Uh, most likely to have more health problems during early morning hours and the, this time we are in bed so before we can expect that sleep positions really matters and all this research indicates that sleep positions are important and we can compare of course effects of different sleep positions how they are going to influence whatever like people may have like whatever apneic episodes or they can have again heart attack severity and so on depending on different sleep position. So the answer, of course, would be, of course, there is a, a strong correlation and of even this medical fact, uh, epidemiological fact, that people are most likely to die or have uh, attacks or exacerbations during sleep, that already indicates and this is like sleep position, something that we can control. And therefore, it's the answer is, yes, sleep positions are very important to, uh, to, to know. 